everybody. Yes, what you see here is you see an entire case of hour of devastating your wallet. And no, I don't think I can call it anything other than the Rudyism. Uh, because we are on a masterpiece hunt. And with the masterpiece hunt, there will come with extreme highs and disappointing lows. And that's uh, why you can actually still use that term. But we've got five very brave patrons here. Um, one is going to do two boxes. So that person will be split into actually two separate videos. And what we are going to do here is we're going to go ahead and I already grabbed this one off the top. So that's going to be for the first one here. Keep them in the order here. So first one is patron Kenny. And we are going to go ahead and we're going to go on the invocation hunt. That's what's happening. Thankfully, Hour of Devastation is a small set, and it does have some really good mythics in it. Having said that, this is the kind of set that, yes, this top row that I usually like to put a lot of hits is not going to get as full as it often can get. But having said that, this set is definitely a little beefier than Amonkhet. So, which makes this a little more palatable. So let's get these 36 packs out. Uh, they are not any, there are not any commons or uncommons that are really going to be worth stopping at. So we're going to have a little stack here going on. So this is going to be a little bit of a quicker hunt. Oh man, those packs open so nice. Okay. So let's get started. Good luck, Kenny. So you have a bunch of commons and you get to the uncommons. Not going to do too much with those. So I'm going to go at a decent pace here. And we are going to start off with a really good mythic. We've got Nico Bolas, God Pharaoh. Nice first pull. This is why I wanted to do Hour of Devastation, is that it does have, so it only has 14 mythics in the entire set. And really, three of them are really strong. Two of them are, are very good pulls. And there's a few other solid pulls. There's really only two that you don't want to see at all. Maybe three. Ah, I forgot what it is. Whatever. This is Defeat. Ramunap Ruins. Omnis Sphinx. And Oketra's Last Mercy. And it also does have one really strong rare card. So, and a few other decent ones. Okay. There we go. Open packs. Not that hard. Manticore Eternal, Angel of the God Pharaoh, Ramu Nap Ruins. It's not easy to say. Razaketh! Oop, jeez. Ugh. Eh, well, you're, you're fine. Okay. Razaketh! All right, we are two for two with the Mythics. Ah, that's two quick Mythics. Small set, folks. Small set. That's the beauty of it. All right, we've got Doomfall, Resolute Survivors, Dune Diviner, Rona's Last Stand. We've got a Foil Swampy, and we got another land, and we got a Steadfast Sentinel. You know, I can, that's, that's cool. I'll put the foils up here, because this is still in the time period where foils are still special. Farm Market, and Market, Inferno Jet, Vizier of the True, Majestic, Mariark. Now, that is one of the Mythics you didn't want to see, but you did start off really well in the Mythics. So that happens, that happens. So thankfully, we got two really strong Mythic pulls to start. Okay, Striker. Torment of Scarabs, Inferno Jet, Scavenger Grounds, okay, and Plains, and Earthshaker, Kenra, Token. We must keep going, keep progressing. 36 wonderful packs, and for a person who opens up as many collector boxes as I do, this is a lot of packs. Okay, Oblix Spider, Kefnet's Last Word, huh? Let's 
Honestly, I don't know too many of the rare cards that are actually, actually really, really big hits. I was not playing during this set, but I do know some of the cool pulls. Okay, Crypt of the Eternals. Devotee of Strength. Hey, Mirage Mirror. That's one of them. And nothing. Okay, Dagger of the Worthy, Liliana's Defeat, Frey Insanity, that's another one. Alright, so, I don't want to rush through this and get sloppy, but at the same time, I do want to move it along, because again, we are on the hunt for invocations. That's what we're after. It's nice to pull some other cards. Driven in Despair... Oketra's Last Mercy Foil. So we got a Foil Rare, and then we've got one of the uh, the Full Art Lands. It's like uh, Nico Bolas' little statue area there. Shrine, whatever you want to call it. Razcat's right, Consign, and Oblivion, Overcome. Earthshaker Kenra. I don't think that's a value, but that's cool. That's a cool pull. Oh, well, look at that forest. That's cool forest. Again, not going to stop too long here. We are on a hunt. Mustn't forget what we are after here. Success 100% depends on pulling invocations. Gideon's defeat. So did everybody lose? Oh, wait, this is when Gideon died, right? Hour of Promise. So you got the Locust God in the background there causing all kinds of destruction. Eternal of Harsh Truce. Okay. Foil. Uncommon. Oh, no, I got a full art mountain. All right. Done with the first third of the box. Let's keep cruising along here. Resolute Survivors. This is Defeat. Deserts Hold. Unash. Okay. This is a, this is one of those short. Again, we got Nico Bolas. We got Razakath. Yunash is not one of the mythics that we want to see. But I guess with having a case of these, we will see him at least once. And we happen to show up here, but alongside Razaketh and Nico Bolas. So without getting too negative. Bloodwater Entity, Unraveling Mummy. Oh, Solomon. Uh, however you say it. I, I don't I can't say that word. I could if I slowed down, probably, and actually, oh, whatever. Okay, Unraveling Mummy, Tenacious Hunter, Reason and Belief for the split card. Nothing there. Come on. I mean, this is a marathon. Got to, but let's, uh, let's start off well and pull one, huh? Hazaret's Undying Fury. Mountain Cat. Got Gideon's defeat again. It's a new striker, vile manifestation, nimble obstructionist for the bird wizard. Hey, consign in oblivion foil. Come on, let's do it. Why did everybody lose Chandra's defeat? Angel of the God Pharaoh. Shepherd's Dunes, Pride Sovereign. That's a. I actually think that's top worthy. In was it Gilded Ceridon? We got the Quarry Brito. Uh, quarry Beetle. Ugh. All right, Sun Scourge Champion, Eternal of Harsh Truths, Bantu's Last Reckoning. All right. Kind of like that. It's a board wipe that's a little bit cheaper, but then you pay the cost the next turn. 
struggle and survive. Adorned Pouncer. Planes and nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, come on, Torment of Hailfire. Where are you at? I don't think I've ever seen a box of this without at least one pulled. Where are you at? Where are you hiding? Hollow One. I wonder if you get more than... I wonder if it's uh, four Mythics still, even with the size of this set. Good questions. I guess we'll find out with these boxes, won't we? River... Is it Hopo? Hopo? I don't know. Hope Tender. Saving Grace. The Scarab Freaking God! Oh, man. So you, uh, you got the two biggest hits at Mythic. And then you got, I think, number five... That's beautiful. Scarab God. Okay. Congrats to you on that. Uh, yeah, I cut it properly. Hope Tender, Sunset Pyramid, Riddle Form, Angel of Condemnation, Frilled Sand Walla. Okay, after this pack, we are two-thirds of the way done with this box. Five Mythics, though. Now we just need that Torment of Hailfire. And I'll say this is at least a strong box for Hour of Devastation. Hostile Desert, huh? I'm cutting those like a champ. Jeez, not even trusting myself. Accused, oh, sorry, Cursed Horde, Sign in, Consign in Oblivion, Leave and Chance, huh? Solitary Camel. Okay, that pack had a little weird wave to it. Interesting, okay. Imaginary Threats, Bane Whip Punisher, Burning Fist, and another one of those angels, and a mountain. Okay, we're cruising along here pretty good, but we gotta find that Torment of Hailfire. If near Dreadlands, Vile Manifestation, and Second for Insanity. Small sets get a lot of duplication, that's how it works. If you don't believe me and you haven't watched these kinds of things, go back and watch my videos when I did Aether Revolts. Interesting land cycle. Hour of Glory. We have an island and nothing. Come on, Torment of Hailfire. Actually, come on, Invocation. Followed by Torment of Hailfire. Apocalypse Demon. That sounds awesome. I'm going to guess it's probably not. And you will number cards in the graveyard. Oh, you have to sacrifice things in addition? Eh. I guess that could be good in a way. Anyway, we proceed forward. Another hostile desert. So what do we got left here? All right, Kenny, we're down to the last six packs. What are we gonna find? Merciless Eternal, Dunes of the Dead, Obelisk Spider, Hour of Revelation, Mountain, nothing there. Supreme Will, Appetite, sorry, Appeal and Authority. I'm going too fast. Minotaur, Hour of Devastation. So the card named after the set. Swamp. Each non-Bolas Planewalker, I like that. Okay. 
Good old Sifter Worm, recently reprinted in Commander Legends. Emmet Internal. And we've got a Seer of the Last Tomorrow foil. Okay, three packs left. Come on, Torment of Hailfire. Come on. Solidarity, Dagger of the Worthy, Endless Sands. Island. Okay, two packs. We're down to we're down to the final. Jace's defeat, because everybody lost. Torment of the Scarabs. A braid. Good old braid. Refuse and cooperate. And or cooperate. Refuse to cooperate. Last pack, Kenny. Will we find the beef to finish us off? I'm going to go a little slower in this last pack. Come on. Let's do this. Come on. River, is it Hoopo? Burning Fist Minotaur. Desert Hold. God Pharaoh's Gift. Is that it? I think that is it. Yep, that is it. That's all she wrote. Well, either way, that was still a pretty good darn good box of Hour of Devastation there. So, yeah, we didn't pull the, uh, the Invocation in the first one, but at least we found some of the best Mythics available and found some good rares while we're at it. All right, so there's going to be two a week over the course of three weeks as we get through this case, and it's going to be a fun journey to see, uh, to see who finds the big beef. Thanks for watching, everybody. Look forward to the next video. Bye.